everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a core workout. You're gonna need a couple of props for this. I'm gonna be using a magic circle. If you don't have one of these, they're really great. You can work your arms, your core, your inner thighs. Today we're gonna to focus on inner thighs, pelvic floor, lower abs with this. If you do not have a ring, you can substitute a block. It's not gonna give you quite the same resistance or workout, but at least can keep you in that position and I'll show you that. You may need something weighted. So I have um, like a medicine ball, like a 10 pound ball. Um, if you want lighter weight, you can use like a dumbbell or heavier depending, or a block if you want really kind of no weight. And then the other thing that I'm gonna have is a towel. Um, to climb on hardwood floors, we're gonna need to be able to slide if you're on carpet, you can use furniture sliders or um, something slick. <laughs> I mean, be creative. And if you're on hard floors, um, you may be able to get by with just socks or something like that. Okay, um, if you hear any background noise, I do have someone else in the room practicing off camera. So um, it hopefully won't be too much background noise, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with our circle, lying on our back. So to begin, we're going to, and I'm gonna show you two with the block actually. So we're gonna lie down and you're going to engage your core for this once you get the ring in place. So when I say engage core, I don't mean suck your stomach in, I mean tense your stomach up um, as if you were getting ready to be punched in the stomach. The ring is going to go between your ankles, and I'll demonstrate that next because that's what I'm using. If you don't have a ring, squeeze your yoga block or something similar in between your ankles for this. So, I have a ring. I'm going to put the pads on your ankles, and we're just going to start by engaging our core and giving this some squeezes, working our inner thighs and our pelvic floor. One and we exhale, squeeze, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna lower, so as we inhale, we're gonna lower, as we exhale, we're gonna give the ring a squeeze and bring our legs up. So inhale, exhale, squeeze and up. Inhale, Exhale, squeeze up. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, core is tight, nine, ten. Also working your hip flexors here, if you can feel that. Okay, one more thing with the ring. Keeping the ring, some gentle pressure on that ring or your block. We're gonna extend our legs out on our inhale. Exhale, pull them back in. So, inhale, exhale, pull them in. One, that's two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop your ring. We're going to come over into, so you're going to need your um, sliding whatever at this point. I just have like a workout towel here. We're going to come into um, an elbow plank. You can come up on your hands too if you want to. Um, we are going to do another series after this if that kind of helps you decide what you want to do with your hands. So when we're in our plank, we're going to have our legs. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to get in the right position. Legs are extended. Make sure your core is engaged. Shoulders are down, we're not sagging. So we're really tight and we push back. And and exhale, come in. That's three. Four. Five. Six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. You drop to your knees if you need. Take a little break. I'm gonna come up to my hands. We're gonna do some pikes in a plank position. If you wanna mix this up, you can always kind of have your feet turn and do a side plank as well. So first, if you're gonna do just a regular, well actually, if you're gonna do side plank, your feet will be kind of like this. This is gonna work your obliques as you tuck and come in. Um, sort of mimics in a way of Pilates reformer. It's just a lot less smooth and less versatile in terms of resistance, but core is tight. Breathe in. Exhale, pull it in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Should be nice and warm by now. We're going to do a little bit of a bird dog exercise with this. Next, so we're going to come into a tabletop position. You can do this with weight or without. Um, so, depending on kind of your strength and your goals, I would say anywhere from a three to probably a 10 pound weight. So, your shoulders are going to be extended working kind of a deltoid if that helps you decide. I know that is not my strongest muscle, so I'm going to stick with a five pound weight. If you don't want any weight, then you're just going to be on all fours. Core again is engaged. We're going to extend our left foot and our right arm. This is phase one. Phase two would be, we're going to pull that in and extend phase three with weight. So, extend, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, exhale, pull it in. That's three, four, core is tight, five, six, seven, eight, Glute engages to nine, ten. Now, you can do as many sets of any of these as you want. I'm just going to go through one set of everything so you can have some ideas. Switch hands and legs. So this time, it's going to be our right foot, left arm. Shoulders are stacked. Pull it out. Exhale, come in. Inhale out. Exhale. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put the weight down. You may want to keep this weight. We're going to do a Russian twist next. So for this, you can use you can use either um, like a medicine ball. So I have a ten pound ball here. You can do a block if you want less weight, or a dumbbell. And I've got uh, it's like fifteen pounds, but you can go as heavy as you want. So for this exercise again, we're back on our sits bones. And our core, like our pelvis, is tucked a little bit to engage the low core. Step one would actually be, I think it's easier to hold something, to just keep your feet down and twist, okay? Uh, we're not twisting from our shoulders, we're twisting from our core. So that's one. Two would be bring up your feet and do the same. And then the next is to add weight. So if you have weight, shoulders are down, core is in, feet come up, weight is close to your chest, 
and we twist. One, two, three, I think that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can do another set of those. So pretty good exercise for just your general core. Um, since I had you do leg lowers, so usually I do a little bit of a leg series here. We're gonna, we would usually start with leg lowers since we already did that with a block to warm up. I'm just gonna move some stuff out of the way because I'm gonna need that space in a second. We're just gonna sit down, lie down, and we're gonna do um, like a 60-30. So I'll show you. On our back, again, lower core is engaged. Palms can be down, or you can bring them behind your head and come into a C curve. And we're gonna lower our left leg and pulse, then switch pulse. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Don't forget to breathe. Eight. That's nine. One more. Ten. Feet come into tabletop. We keep ourselves in the C curve position. We're going to bicycle. So for bicycle, we're just going to extend our left leg as we bring our left shoulder towards our right knee. Inhale, exhale, bicycle. One. Two. Three. Four. Trying to really bring our shoulder over. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Go ahead and rest your feet. If you want to do another round, um, kind of double time, feel free to do that. The next thing we're going to do is a reverse crunch. This is going to work those lower abs. So if you've had kids, um, all these low ab exercises are what's going to help strengthen the, those lower abs that are weak, the pelvic floor, help with things like incontinence. So if they're weak, that's okay. You have some options. So you can start with just pelvic tilts, okay? Feet are down and you're just tucking your hips up. And that is still working the same muscles so that you can at a later time maybe progress. So next we could come with our feet in tabletop and we're gonna engage our low abs and lift up or extend your legs straight. And it's a small movement, this isn't huge. So breathe in, core is tight, exhale, tuck it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. One last thing. You're going to need a yoga block for this. Yoga block is going to come underneath your sacrum. You're going to want to clear a little space because we're going to do some leg circles. So I'm just going to move stuff so I'm not kicking anything. Okay. So lie down on your back. Hips are on that block. Back is down. Hands are down. Feet come up. And we're going to um, first, we'll go in one direction, then we'll switch. We're going to take five circles in each direction. We're going to Inhale down, exhale, bring it out and around. You want nice smooth circles, so
So if you are finding that you're moving your hips a lot, or that you are making circles, then make it a smaller motion. So inhale down, exhale around, that's two. Three, four, and five. We're gonna reverse the motion. So inhale, open. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tuck it in. If you need stretch, you need a direction, feet out, arms out, give yourself a nice stretch. Come to a seated position. And that's it. So that's a pretty quick um, core series. Let me know if you like this because there's tons more exercises we could do if people like it. So hope you have a great day. Thanks so much.